Hey everyone, this is Mo and uh, one and a half man crew. Uh, we are here live in the first live test. So um, the optical light transmitter, the OLT, is up. And we are here testing the signal at the first hope. And uh, this kind of situation here is awkward a little bit because these first ones are eight separated. So I have to run one to two split, then start splitting from there to them. Uh, so what we have in here, as we see, we have minus eight power, which is still acceptable, but I would say it's quite a bit high. So, um, and this is out of the one to four splitter there, All right? So we don't want to push this much power to the Jeep on. It may burn it. So we need to uh, lower it a little bit. And for that, we're gonna use one of these attenuators. So I'm gonna, well, if I can kill it, or attenuate it to three dB extra, that will bring me up to probably around 11, 12. Um, about that, let's see if we do that, what's gonna happen. So we're gonna unplug it. And then we're gonna plug it into an attenuator here. I don't know if you see that. We're gonna plug it into the attenuator. And then the attenuator will plug it into where it was plugged in. Here we need to lower the power a little bit. There you go. So now to up to minus 11, which is okay. I could go a little bit higher, maybe with a 5 dB attenuator, which is right here, to bring it up a little bit to what it needs to be. But well, minus 11 is great. It should be between minus 8 and minus 28. Well, minus 28 is too much. I'll say it should be between minus 12 to a minus 20. Okay, that's to be fair, you know. So I could change it to this one, that's a 5 dB, that will bring it up to maybe minus 13. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that. So I'm going to unplug it from here. And then i got to take this attenuator out, which is the minus 3 dB. And I'm going to put instead the 5, and then see what I'm getting in here. So I put the 5 and I'm just going to plug it in and oops, something went wrong, there you go. So now we are a minus 13, man, perfect. So we're going to do that. We're going to add um, a minus 5 or a 5 dB attenuator to all these 1, 2 and 3. This one is going to the next 4 homes which without attenuator because I have a splitter on the other side so another splitter one to four so that should bring it up to maybe minus 13 without attenuator so let's have this set up and then we'll go from there all right we'll see you on the next one all right let's go ahead to the next one which is just next door we're going to see how much power this one is getting. Like I said, the OLT is up and running, so this is life. The internet, it's there. I just, before start doing the connection to my clients, I need to make sure first that I got all the calculation right. Remember this, we are a zip ties and we had to use some duct tapes. There you go, duct tape's still there. Perfect. All right. See, the duct tape's still there. Let's measure here, plug it in, here again, we are a minus eight like the other one. So what we need to do in here, we have to go get, I should have it in my hands because I know I'm gonna have to do it anyway. I was just overwhelmed by today's accomplishment. I did a lot today and 
it's almost there so we're gonna grab a 5 db i'm gonna grab two of them right because i have another one so this nice home in the rv park has fiber to it so if you own an RV park, you know anyone who owns an RV park, just spread the word. Fiber to the RV or fiber to the mobile home, yes, we get it done. We're not affiliated with any company. Open and bell communication. This is who we are. We are local here in Ocala, and we can set up a deal with the RV park's owner or RV park foundation, and we can make things happen. We don't just talk. All right, let me just plug it in. I put my 5 dB attenuator there, as you see. Let's put in the tester, and here we go. I'm again at minus 13, safe. So what do we need to do in here? We're just going to have to take this one out. And then we're going to permanently leave... this attenuator here I'm not gonna take it back so this is gonna just sit right here it will just protect the, the router let's say the, the G on or the client uh, receiver from being burned because um, our signal is so strong it's okay so let me close this one out at the moment we're using this little tiny whatever you name it until we put a little locks okay so for now we're just gonna lock it that way here you go let's move into the next one and here we are Oof. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna open it and then, oops, this one is upside down. Again, no zip ties in here, but you know what? It works. We'll come back and fix this one day. Right now, we'll just try to move on. All right, let's do the test again. Plug it in. And again, see? Minus 878. Let's take it out. Let's add the attenuator. Says it's another 5 dB attenuator. And then let's plug in the power meter or the tester, whatever you name it. And oops. Let's push it in a little bit more. There you go. You have to hear that click. There you go. We're at a minus 13 again. So these are ready. We will get the router or whatever the GPON programmed and set, and we'll just come and install them. And customer will be happy. They've been waiting for this for quite a bit. We we'll just run through little hiccups here and there, but we we'll get it done. There you go. So we're gonna come back with a patch cable to patch from here to the inside of the house install the router and we should be good to go let me lock this one up <laughs> yeah perfect lock we'll put a lock later all right so these three are done we had to put an attenuators here to lower the signal but as you can see internet is here signal is here and that's fiber so there is no joke no latency no buffering, no nothing. All right, let me move to the next four. And uh, we'll see what we have there. Man, it's hot. All right. We just arrived to the next four one. I remember these are coming from Splitter, and they have another Splitter. So I don't think we're going to have to put any attenuator, but let's see. So this one is empty because this one is going to this house. And these three... They go into the next ones and this one is being fed by the previous box that I showed you and this is where the splitting this is where the splitting happened okay 
this is the feed, this is the splitter. So let's see how much power we got in here just before doing anything. I'm going to plug our power meter. Okay, please make sure don't expose your eyes. These are laser radiation and they can literally uh, damage your eyes. So as we can see here, we're good. We are a perfect shape. 1580 straight. There is no attenuator needed because this splitting, it's already doing the job. So here, all we have to do, just plug in the patch cable straight, plug the water, and we're good to go. So in here, we're gonna sa save our attenuators. I'm not gonna use none, all right? I'm gonna go and test the couple. Yeah, I gotta come back and take care of this. Well, it's okay. The good thing about fiber, it will work as long as it was designed.